Hi, I'm Yapo, and with me today is Wandering Newbie. Hi, everyone. And this is Nuffelheim against Wandering Newbie's Wandering Monsters. I'm uh, down 100 team value for this game, so I picked up an Apothecary, because we really can't afford to have anybody else dying. Yeah. And uh, everything else is about the same, except Wandering Newbie has five rerolls to my two. I, I, six, thank you very much. Well, if you're counting leader, then you have six to my three, but... I still have twice as many, pretty much. Ridiculous. Also, spoilers, two people die this game. Yeah. <laughs> also, this pitch does not compress well. Um, so if you're watching this on Blip, there will be two parts. Because this video is huge. It is also why this is cut down so much. Yeah. I was, I was, I was watching like a few seconds. And it's like, wow, he really just like cut out any time people were just moving. I, yeah, I pretty well gutted this video to try and keep it down, because of the pitch. So, since the uh, the last time the vampires were in a actual video, I think I've, what, got gotten another Strength 5 vampire. I have an Agility plus vampire with Dodge, Movement plus, and, uh, well, now he has Strong Arm, so he can throw nine squares on the two plus. Yeah, basically the vampires now are huge assholes on this team. <laughs> and we still can't win. That's the worst part. <laughs> My my whole um I've also made a effort to turn all of my thralls into uh, Norse linemen. Except by giving them all block as the first level. Ten K more expensive. Uh, yes, but it 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 has been like I've because of course it's my first time playing vampires. I've tried out a lot of different abilities on them. Like I went the dirty player route, realized that I really don't even want to risk a vamp a thrall being sent out on dirty player. I I tried to wrestle it never came up. They always just got punched anyway. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to give everybody block. That way they have defense against block, and they can punch people. And it's been working for me. Kind of. Because I still haven't won. Yeah, although, and, uh, what was it? Last week, I think it was, Moleboy and uh, Boxline both got their first wins. So I'm the only team that doesn't have a win yet. Oh, and my entire strategy right here was to uh, go in there and... Kill Megalar. Pretty much. Because now I'm um, Strength 5 Vampire with Money Blow and Tackle. And Block. Yeah, that guy's a huge yeah. asshole. Yeah, it's pretty much he should be blitzing every turn or punching somebody. And generally what my strategy is, is mattering on who I put on the, on the LOS... Which also matters on what team I'm playing. If they have a big guy on the LOS, I'll put one of the other Strength 5 Vampires there. But I try and punch a Strength 5 Vampire down the side and then pass to him. Because Strength 5 Vampire, even though he doesn't have anything plus to it, still catches on 2 plus. Yeah, because 4 agility. Yep. Vamps are the best team if you can avoid rolling Bloodlusts constantly. Pretty much it's like an amazing team if you can roll higher than a 2. Or can roll, roll twos two consistently. High. Yeah, like the lowest requirement to be a good team, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes you do nothing but once, and you're really trying to figure out where to punch here. Yeah, I uh, I hate going for it. So I was like, man, do I want to risk the going for it? And... No, you you, you want to punch the strength five amp. <laughs> That's what you want to do. Let's be honest here. It's true, but I gotta get a bunch of assists and stuff. See, like that. Yeah. Oh, wait, block. Yeah. Oh, wait, frenzy. I forgot about frenzy a lot this match. I don't understand how you can forget about frenzy against Norris because it's because you're the only team in the league that has frenzy. It's kind of their whole point, though. I know, but it's just like I never deal with frenzy, and then frenzy pops up. And I'm like, oh yeah, frenzy. I don't even know what half the shit I was saying. I don't remember anymore. I, I talk a lot when I play football. Yeah, I think we played this game on Tuesday, and we're now recording the commentary on Saturday night. I don't know. We've both been busy. Yeah, this, this week's going to be crazy long, too, because even after this... And, to be honest, I'm getting tired of editing videos. Rolling seven. <laughs> Rolling sevens. Oh, there we go, as soon as I say something. 
Yeah, thralls should never ever last this long. Black thralls, though. Even then. The best. And, and then I and, and then I hope that they roll double so I can give them mighty blow. <laughs> punch the shit out of thralls and nothing happens. Except the the guy with claw stuns the thrall, because you know why not? <laughs> claw. <laughs> Wasted team value. So pretty much now I'm in my optimal position. What I want to do is I want to punch the uh, the plus strength out, but of course I fucking forget to blitz with him. Which what I think this showed up a lot in the Kemri game that we played, the Kemri the bonus game. But no, 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 it was la it was the week against um cool guys, orcs, but I have suddenly, out of nowhere, developed a really bad habit of forgetting to blitz when I want to, like, blitz and move the guy out. Or, like, I want to stand a guy up and then move him out to blitz somebody. I just, I forget to fucking blitz with the person. Yeah, I try and be really careful with that because of Frenzy and, like, Frenzy basically just makes blocking and everything more complicated. <laughs> it makes it a puzzle. Kinda. How can I do this and not kill myself? Lost advance is secretly on my side. That's unfortunate. Oh, look! <laughs> look, an armor break! Goddamn Hooray. dwarf. He's a tackleless <laughs> double concussed dwarf now. He's never he's never leaving the team unless he dies. I don't think he's died yet. Suds has died like twice already though, hasn't he? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh. Uh, oh, there there's go. number one. And I looked at it, and because this is gonna be weird. Yeah, I used the apothecary because I was like, oh man, it's a block thrall. I really kind of need him in that game in this game. Yeah, but it's a thrall. I I really wanted the block thrall. Against your team where every fucking person has block. Not everyone. Uh, Lost of Amps and Magnus for Magnuson, who's just absolute right. shit. And at this point, I was like fucking pissed because I think you realized what my strategy was and you pushed him into a really shitty position. Yeah. Because now it's like, even though Agility 4, it's still like, what, a 4 plus to dodge him, like, up the line. Maybe if I dodge him back is less, but... No, Ratatat is not in a good position. I love whenever people man mark my Agility plus Vamp. Because I'm just like, oh, <laughs> you're trying to mark me? <laughs> yeah, you can still roll ones, though. It's the same melt as the Elf strategy. Well, I mean, yeah, but he also has dodge, so I have to roll snake eyes. Or bloodlust, or, you know, it's... Yeah. Anyhow, it's it's still making your roll dice. Doing a little dance right there. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was in this game, but it, like, <laughs> lagged out a couple times. It might be my new... The new computer I have to play this on because of issues. So, and... <laughs> it's pretty much flat out broke. Magnus being shit. Hooray. What else is new? Going down with the thrall. That was a vampire. Oh, uh, that was a vampire? Yeah. Oh, that's the, that's the newbie vampire, or as I like to call him. Um, Gazy? Gazy, yes. <laughs> because that's all he's allowed to ever do. That's the thing about vampires, is you can't start with all of them, and then once you have some with levels, giving the ball to the unleveled ones is just, like, painful. I love whenever, if not a gaze works, and I'm in two tackle zones. Yeah, that's, uh, that's in that slot of six. Also, you'll notice it's turn four, and there has not been a single bloodlust failure. <laughs> Pro vamps. Yeah, just gonna, just gonna point that out there. Once again, I meant to blitz with him, because that's why I gazed. And you know, so then I was like, "Fuck it, let's just run slime down because you can do that." Oh, okay. There's a bloodlust failure, but you know, rerolled. Also, he was next to a vamp anyway, or a thrall, so it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. 
This is also I don't know what I was thinking with this strategy because I apparently forgot that you had just two guys staying there on, on the right side of the field. <laughs> Something because this is not really the best spot for you to be in. No, not at all. Yeah, <laughs> I was like in high. Oh, that's the other thing is I didn't even fucking use my blitz on that turn. Yeah, I do that occasionally. I'm just like, I don't really have a... And I had the... I think number nine is a block throw. So I was like, in hindsight, I should have just fucking blitzed that one <laughs> with the block throw. Dodge. Do it thing. Block. It still doesn't have it. <laughs> Next level. Yeah. And what do I do here? I forget. I think you move a lineman up. I think you, you punch the, the plus strength vampire. Uh, number three, and then you move number four up. That would make yeah. sense. And then you get you get your fucking one die blocks on. You've already thrown several one die blocks in this game, including. I have I have block now, so I can do that. And suds. No, oh, there's the second death. Oh wait, he's back. But regeneration. <laughs> so that's a serious, like the best ever. Also, yeah. that was the two SPP he needed for a level. So, yeah, yep, he's now. Now, the only poor choice I say here is I would have picked up the ball, or at least tried. Uh, maybe. I think I had a plan for that. I can't remember. Uh, oh, this is this this is my plan. Oh, I see your plan. Because Mangle Armor's got four agility, and he's down there, nearby. Yeah, and, you know, Hail Mary Pass. Actually, uh, Peyton is out. Oh. Right now. But, I still have four agility, so, you know. Alright, now here comes some dumb shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, probably. First, some blocking. I don't know why I don't just leave shadowing turned on all the time. <laughs> I think you don't do it once this entire game. Eh, yeah, why not? That actually got me slightly closer to the ball. I am was, but I know that fucked it up. Like, that, that actually fucked up my plan somehow. I don't understand. Also, I'm not entirely sure why I did this, but why I didn't just step closer to the ball. <laughs> I guess I'm used to having block dodge and sidestep, so it's just having you waste actions to throw blocks. Yeah, wait, here we go. Alright, 2+, plus, 3+, plus, 3+, plus, 3+. Plus. <laughs> One step. And one step. Two plus. And this is one go. He's so dead. And another two plus. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. Uh, five agility with dodge. <laughs> yeah, I was not happy about that. Still not happy about that. <laughs> Uh shit, I love my vampires so much. <laughs> like you just I do so many bullshit plays. Yeah. Also, I'd like to note you have used two rerolls in five turns as vamps. Yep. And one of those was rerolling a safe block. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a thing. I I don't I know I intentionally kicked short here and I I have no fucking clue why. Well, I mean, I set up my thrower deep. Also, you can always hope for a blitz on the short kick. Yeah. And you literally, you had nobody over there. So I was like, oh, maybe a blitz. But yeah, like, my fucking agility plus a vamp is the rudest fucking thing. It's pretty rude. Because, like, in the game against the Cali Crushers... I, it, 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 Sabby, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
a Chaos Warrior had knocked the ball loose on the sideline, so the Agility 5 was on the sideline. The ball was in front of the Chaos Warrior, to like the left of him, where the Chaos Warrior was two away from the side. Well, the lack of block is great fun. Reroll. Do it. I have one what? reroll left. Oh, uh, I, have I, I guess everybody really is in position, so. But. I would have gone and picked up the ball, but it's I got enough turns to make it to the end zone still, so. Yeah. Yeah, so that's anyway, two turnovers because lack of block. Great fun. Right. But anyway, I think what ended up happening was like I dodged into tackle zones twice, picked up the ball, dodged out, and then threw like 12 spaces. Ended up touching, getting a touchdown. It, ridiculous, and I love it. Almost makes me want to play elves, and then I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> you should get him leap next instead of block. I. I'm thinking about it, but really, I'd rather have Blodge. Yeah, but Leap. It's a 2+. plus. <laughs> it's, a, it's a 2 plus. When does that fail? For you, apparently never. <laughs> you. Since there's been one Bloodlust in five turns now and it's successfully re-rolled. Hypnotic gaze. <laughs> when all else fails, it's just hypnotic also, gaze. Also, I'm... Pr oh, there's another Bloodlust failure. And yeah, I think I don't re-roll this one. No, because I'm like, you're standing next to a thrall and you're just going to throw a block anyway, so... Right, and I wanted to make sure that I... the blitz that I'm going to do works. Yeah, I don't know that you failed it. I think you've rolled sixes on your hypnotic gazes so far as well, so... N nothing will be fucking the game against cool guy, but I didn't fail a single one. Uh, see? What if I had used that reroll? I felt so happy that I didn't use the reroll. So I punch here, and the ball literally scatters to the worst place. That's a pretty good place for me. Yeah. I fucking... I was pissed. Oh, well, actually, technically, it could have scattered out, and then got thrown, like... Right to my thrower or something? Yeah, right on your thrower, and he could have picked it up. Um, so. fun fact, uh, you don't gain your tackle zones back from Hypnotic Gaze unless you do something. So you can right-click on a player to uh, select them and in their action to give them back their tackle zones. But then you can't do anything with that player, right? right? But like that's their action for the turn. But it's the pro strat to get like your guard player's tackle zones back and stuff like that. Right. Um, I learned that, I think, recently. I, get, I forget against... Maybe it was actually against you right now. <laughs> this, this is a threat give you good skills like guard. I literally completely forgot that you had guard. Yeah, remember? He's like a little baby dwarf. Uh, what else was it? Oh, I, I, say that, I say that again when I realize that both of your runners have sidestep. Yeah, but one of them still doesn't have dodge, which is kind of the only... Well, he needed diving catch. The, well, no, that one has dodge. The only two <laughs> players on the team that have access to agility skills, and one of them has four general skills and sidestep. Oh look, I rolled two ones there too. <laughs> Anyhow, the other fun thing about Hail Mary Pass is that it can't be intercepted, so you can throw it just kind of wherever the hell you want. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about five agility assholes catching it on a f Do you get four plus? Yeah, pretty much. Do you get SPP off of Hail Mary? No. Oh, that's I guess the one downside about it. It has to be an accurate pass to count for SVP. Right. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't know you could turn your skills on mid-game. Yep. And for some reason, the game decided it didn't actually want me throwing a hail mary pass. Like. <laughs> oh, okay. No, uh, uh. I don't know what the like. I don't know what the deal was. I was like, I I just clicked on him. Like it's this is supposed to work. Maybe because you don't actually have the ball. Yeah, I don't know. Like I was, then, then I was like, is it very sunny? Like, because very sunny means you can't throw. I believe it means you can't throw him air passes, but. You're like it's on, it's on. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, like I was like, it's. it's I I think I remember this to think of. I'm like, what's taking him so long? 
I think I was like like deep strategy, like, oh, what do I want to do? Yeah, like I think you were like really contemplating it. No, I just I couldn't get the damn thing to work. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, like it was a huge pain. Of course. Diving catch. So now the ball is off in Bumblefuck Town, except you didn't defend him. I would put the. I know, but you put him. I don't know if you miscounted, but you put him right in range of my fucking blitzer. Yeah, I also figured you might fail or roll every once in a while. Nope. You know. No, the entire gimmick of this team now is I. I really try not to give a shit about blood loss. Like bloodlust like, going I, for it, it's the block. I'm, you know, I thought you might I'm fail something. Like now, but. all of my players. Oh, it had to happen eventually, right? Yeah, that's that's I think your first turnover. Yeah. In, um, in the half. Of course, of course, it's the newbie vampire. Goddamn newbie vampire! I think all he's done is succeeded in like a single, fucking pass. That's the only SVP he has. Alright, so my strategy here was like, alright, I'll knock him down, like right here, like you know, I'll get a power or something, and I'll be standing next to him, and then I can blitz with Squizgar and get that tackle zone off, but nope. Yeah. And then it was like, shit, now there's no good way for me to get an assist on that guy. But yeah, the whole strategy for the vampires is they don't get pro unless they hit Loma Summer. And so now I just punch some thrills and don't do anything productive. You broke the stun one. That's not really productive on, you know, turn seven. Yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to figure out how to surf that one. Always. Always be thinking about the surf. I think I could have had I used my blitz, but I was still trying to figure out how to blitz. With... Secretly on my side. Yeah, he's not the best <laughs> yeti. I was like, all right, I can make it with two going for it. This is basically the play he scored on, right? So, except actually with fewer rolls. Yeah, it's easier rolls. So at this point, I thought, oh man, he he can't pick up the ball. He he can't get it in there. And then you do this. Or not yet? Okay, more vanity blocks. Yeah, no, I was trying to. I'm, I was trying to be like, okay, I gotta kill some vamps here. Cause Is that Magnus all the way on the right? Uh, probably. Yeah, I can see why you wouldn't want to block with him. Almost. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. The... So then I picked the push, and I was like, oh, surely this won't end badly for me. Oh, god, fuck, bitch, cunt. <laughs> I think I fell into the same exact trap in our first game. But you got lucky. Yeah, I got so lucky. Four of six results. Put you out, but no, I had to get the one of the two. I was like, all right, this is, you know, it's the same. So I'm like, he can't pick up the ball. I'm fine. And then... That's a three-plus pickup. Fuck. And a two-plus dodge, the same as you did. Yeah. Except with fewer dodging. And unless you're going yeah, forwards into the end zone. Literally, I was mouth open. That just happened. I I say this, and I watched it in the video. You cut it out. I have never actually seen that happen. Like, we joke about it a lot, but I have never seen somebody going for it into the, into the end zone with the ball, fail at going for it, and die. Yeah, that was not the best thing that's ever happened. So at this point, I'm like, okay, he can't score. That's it. Yeah. I'm going to punch some dudes. That, with uh, that was not the best. That really it sucked. That blew. And wait, couldn't you? Have, did you already use your reroll that? Yes, I had to use the reroll on the negative two dice block. Oh right, right. Uh, because I rolled a one on the dauntless. Right. But that. Like, I was happy because, you know, oh, man, now I'm in a good position to win. But yeah, it still sucks. And that's he's missing cool. next game now, and I am against Cool Guy next week, so that's going to be rough. Uh, special. Watch out for Cool Guy. He's 
really hard to play against. Well, he's got a good. <laughs> he's got a good orc team, and orcs are just kind of up. He has, he has a very by the book orc team, and that's what makes it really hard. Yeah, um, orc teams have eight players with strength access. Oh, that that right there, fucking thrall, punching out an elf. <laughs> Yeah. With block. With block. Yeah. <laughs> Going for the pick of the ball? Fuck yeah. Nope. <laughs> I don't know if you cut it out right here, but I think after that, I was just like, the ball's cursed. That's the only answer. Yeah. The ball's a <laughs> trap. <laughs> it's always a trap. It's like, alright, how can I surf that vampire? <laughs> because, you know, it's always a good thing yeah. to surf. And, like you said, I can't get to the ball, so... Even yeah, trying. turn 8, spike, surf. Yep, even trying is... I was going to spike foul too, and then I realized I moved my dirty player to take away the assists. But... And no surf. Reroll. roll the last turn you knocked them out though yeah which is actually about the same because the region hey, it, half the time I, j I just had a Kemri game where a Kemri, where a skeleton died and another yeah, one got my strength 